once you set up your mac there are some settings basic settings that you should definitely do to enhance your mac experience these are the settings i do every time i buy or reset my mac it will make your experience on the mac much better just follow along me these are the quick little small steps first one just swipe with the three finger on your mac trackpad let me show you guys just swipe up then you'll be able to create another desktop be sure to make another desktop that's what i make other things on my other desktop and other things on my other desktop just click another desktop the next one is enabling the touch feature on the track but once you set up the mac use the trackpad you don't have the touch feature like right now if i do and touch on something it is not working i'm just tapping here and there but it's not working anyway so you should enable the touch feature because it's very convenient just go into the system preference after that you need to go for the trackpad here you have to click on tap to click just enable this one the tap to click one then you're good to go if you click on the launch pad you can go there the next thing you have to change that is you need to go to the system preference on the dock and menu bar here you have to enable that automatically hide and show the dock so that you have a little extra space if you are having the 13 inch macbook then the space is already small don't block the space with these things the next one the magnification you should definitely enable the magnification before enabling the magnification what you should do is enable this one so that you can see after that make it a little smaller now you see it's getting bigger and the dock to be a little smaller so that it doesn't bother me so much the next one is the battery percentage that is very important so if you want to enable the battery percentage then what you have to do is go to the battery section but here you won't be able to see the battery percentage going to the dock and menu bar has the battery and here you need to click on the show percentage so you can see that your mac is having 55 percent battery life um maybe you can see right now yeah 55 percent battery life over here it's showing you should go to the software update and after that click on the advanced check for new updates download new updates disable this one the download one it's not really important and the next one is removing some of the items remove from dock the newspaper i don't use remove from dock some of the application that you don't use it doesn't make any sense to block this way the next setting is changing the widgets come at the bottom click on the widgets if you need then you keep if you don't need just move it away it also takes a lot of battery life because it's showing constantly at the right side it doesn't make sense the next one i really change that is going into the second display and clicking on the change display um okay going into the second one now here i just change the second one so that i can make the difference between the first and the second display there are two more settings that is the first one here is the display brightness so you should definitely turn off the automatic display brightness that i really don't like just go into the system preference after that you need to go display then you just need to turn off the automatically adjust brightness and the next one is automatically keyboard brightness true tone i really don't like that much anyway the next one here is the keyboard go inside of the system preference and the keyboard once you go inside of the keyboard there are two settings you need to turn on one setting you have to turn off one setting you have to turn on the first one is adjust keyboard brightness in low light you can adjust your keyboard brightness by yourself turn keyboard backlight off after five seconds of inactivity if you are keeping your mac like doing nothing then there is no meaning of having the light going on for the keyboards once you come here back the light comes on turning this thing on will save your battery life drastically and there are some basic applications that i really install there is an extra video on my channel if you guys want then you can definitely go and check that one okay that's it bye